seven or eight or nine fish out of one little peppergrass bed. So if you hear one breaking, you want to turn around and try to find it and see where he broke and go fish it because more than likely there's more than one fish there. shape. You can catch a lot of those. I mean, a lot of them. You just catch a lot of these fish on Okeechobee. Right now, they're in lakes in good shape. The water's high. They're to a good level. It's not real high, but it's, it's at a real good level. You can come out here with an eight-inch worm. I throw Charlie's worms. They're an excellent worm. They're high floater. They got a good tail on them, and you can catch a lot of bass out here doing that. You know, just some 17 pound line, a 3 16 ounce sinker. When I'm fishing around grass, I don't use the screw in weight. A lot of people throw that Florida rig with a screw in weight, but I think around grass, open areas, pockets, uh, things like that where you're not fishing, flipping, trying to get to the base of something and keeping the bait and the sinker together, you'll get more strikes and catch more fish with a slip weight. So you want to, you don't want to keep, uh, keep your bait locked down on the, you know, on the sinker. You want to let the sinker free because they don't feel the weight when they strike. So that's what those fish stay in. I mean, they live in that pepper grass. And a lot of times, if you come in and just take a bait and flip it in the holes like that hole right there, and just let it go, just sink to the bottom. They, I mean, there's fish in, all in this pepper grass. There's a lot of sand on the lake. Most of it now is covered up with silt, you know, from the weeds dying and over the years. But this whole lake, 
this whole lake is lake bottom was pure white sand at one time. You could I used to wade it years ago, and uh, you could actually just see the bottom. I mean, see the sand in the bottom. It was beautiful. But over time, you had high weeds, and you get a lot of grass and, and things like that, and they spray it, and it dies, and it settles. And But there's still some places up on the shoulder you can go where you can see the bottom is sandy. Good tail on it, nice good swimming tail. Just a, in my opinion, the best worm made. It really is. I've, I've tried them all, and this one just it floats high. You know, it's a good bait. It stays up off the bottom. It floats up. Your Carolina rigging it. The lizards, there's one right there. Uh, it floats up real good and high. Just didn't want it. Actually, he broke the tail off. Could be a big bluegill. Get another one. Going a June bug. Actually, that's the best color. One of the best colors on the lake is a June bug, or you got your red shad greens. Um, Dark colors in, in Okeechobee works really good. All over, actually. Your real clear lakes, you want to maybe like a cotton candy or something like that. You know, it's more transparent. But some bluegill in there. Those are should be some bass.
tons of small fish in here, but when there's little ones, they're, 